you have a bird in your hand and you don't want to hurt the ball. You don't want to hurt the bird. Yeah. Huh? It's a small bird. Yeah. If you want to play cross here, if you want to play down the line, that's exactly it. You see how the... Ooh. What a <laughs> First thing is, when to do the drop shot. Mm -hmm. When. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a shot that people feel like he's going to give me the point easily. Yeah. So the tendency of a lot of players is to do drop shots when they don't know what to do or when they don't feel comfortable or when they want an easy, easy point, you know, without working for it. I mean, it's human. A lot of players do that. But the real moment to do a drop shot, first, it's an, it's an aggressive shot. So you're supposed to be inside the court, able to hit a winner, and you decide instead of it to hit a drop shot, right? Yes. It's a very aggressive shot, and it's a shot you play only in that situation. And why you do it, there are two options for the opponent. You can play right or left. If you can also drop shot, it's three options. It's more difficult to guess, it's more difficult for him to anticipate, and it's more insecure for the opponent. So that's why it's a good shot also. So that's the tactical side of it, very simply. And then we're going to go into the technical yeah. part of it. So how to hit a, a good drop shot. Yeah. Let's do it. Allez, allez. The drop shot, the goal is that the ball stops as much as possible because the more it's going to go forward, the more the opponent has a chance to get it. In order to, uh, to make it stop, you have to cut the ball, have backspin. So when it touches the ground, it kind of stops or doesn't go too, far, too yeah. fast. Okay? It's like a volley with a bit more, more spin. We're going to try to play with only one ball. So I'm standing here and you're going to hit the ball to me yeah. and I'm going to catch it. But the goal is that if I let the ball pass, that it stops here, yeah. not that it continues. OK? Yeah. Yeah, so this one was continuing. So make sure that the ball goes like that and not too flat. OK? That's perfect. Yeah. To get a good control, once you're in touch with the ball, keep it as long as you can. A lot of players feel like the more I keep the ball in the racket, the further it's going to go. No, yeah. you're going to get a better control. It's not a fast shot, and that's what makes it difficult. When you hit a drop shot, you have to be fast with the leg, yeah. slow with the hand. Soft. Exactly. Parfait. Yes, it's a caress to the ball. Caress it. Yes. Very good. Bravo! I have my special uh, tool. Where do you think we should put it? Around maybe here. Okay. So if you hit it here, you're happy? Yeah. So the idea is to have a, a target. Yeah. And uh, it's exciting to be able to put the balls inside this little box. A very important tool huh, when you play tennis, this one. Ooh la la, very good one. Keep the ball long in the racket. Excellent, that's good. Ooh la 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 la. Ooh la la. That's great drop shots. Good. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> this one was the perfection, but there were many just around it. We're gonna add one thing. What is very important, again, is the time where the ball is in contact with the racket. You have the ball that comes short. You decide to come in. Maybe you're gonna hit a winner. Yes, I'm gonna hit a winner, but a drop shot winner. So then you decide to drop shot. And what is very important at that moment is that you don't stop here. It's the same at the net. If you, if you run and then you stop, the ball is gonna fly and you, you have not as much control. With the drop shot, the idea is to go like, uh, to have one step, at least one step after the... So I can follow through. Exactly, you yeah. keep the ball longer in the racket. Parfait! Oh la la! That's very good, very good. Oh la la. Oh la la. Perfect! How to measure if it's a good drop shot or not? So of course, the moment you hit it is very important. If you hit it when the, the opponent is moving a little bit back like this and you go the other way, that's yeah. perfect. Sure. Second thing, if the player is on the backhand side, the drop shot has to be on, the, on his forehand side because then the distance is much longer, so it's more difficult. Yeah. But how to measure if the drop shot you've hit is a good drop shot? I have one, one trick. When you hit a drop shot, the ball is bouncing on the ground. So the question is, how many bounces 
before it crosses this line. You can measure how good it is by that. One, two, three, cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rolling, <laughs> exactly. Eight, seven, eight. Not bad, but I prefer when it rolls. More interesting. <laughs> this one is rolling. Okay. Ah, that's smart. Rolling. One more thing important is the height. The higher it is, the more time it's for the opponents. Let's make it as low as possible. Closer to net. Yeah. Wow. Good, again. Six, seven, very good. Look at exactly what I want you to feel. You hit the drop shot, and at some point the racket is here and the ball is behind. Yes, that was it, that was it. What you do with your hand is very good. I want you to feel that you bring the balls over the net with your legs, yeah. not with your hand, yeah. okay? <laughs> Exaggerated. Yes, that's it. I'm gonna give you a target because it's more fun. You have a bird in your hand, that's the ball. And you don't wanna hurt the ball. You don't wanna hurt the bird, yeah. huh? It's a small bird. Yeah. And you run, you run fast to the, to the bird. Ooh la la! Yes! Super! Wow! I like how subtle you are with your hand. Very good. That's what we need. All the work is done here. Yeah. That's what makes this shot yeah. difficult because you have to be dynamic here and very yeah. slow and uh, subtle with the hand. Yeah. Do you enjoy that? I think you're really good. Good tips. I think you're more than ready for the back end. Yeah, I've been waiting. <laughs> Especially on the back end, I've always been good, but now I have more power in the forehand, so it's good to have that also in the yeah. forehand, not only in the back end. Yeah, it's a super fun uh, shot to it play. Is. Yeah. I mean, I love it. <laughs> and if you see the, the top guys on clay, I mean, Rafa, of course, but uh, Novak. Novak, he's so good at that. He has incredible feel. Most of the time at the right time, but sometimes he overuses it also. Yeah. <laughs> but he has back, back spin, so the yeah, ball really stops. stops. Yeah. yeah. Okay, go a bit deeper. Great. Oh! Make sure you make one step after. Oh, no, no. Perfect. Was well, the last two, so we finished on this one. Congrats. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. This one will never cross the line. I tend to do too much like this one. Oh, I instead see what you mean. I want to see the ball instead of just trust and boom. So I see. It's good because you already tell me uh, yeah. the mistakes you do in case I don't see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me show, show me some uh, slice backhand. Yeah. Let's first go deep cross and we start from there. Yeah. Yes. First of all, the, the quality is very good. The ball is low. The ball is lively. So when you touch the ground, it yeah. accelerates. That's good. That's good. It stays low and it's fast, so it's perfect. Your hand goes a little bit there. Yeah. Ideally, I would like you just to make sure that the, the racket head goes in the direction where you want to play, okay? If you want to play cross here, if you want to play down the line, you cut it here, here, but then, okay? Yes! Ooh la la! Yeah, don't try to hit harder. Just keep the same, it's so good. Yes! Such a good control. Oh yeah, woof! Yes, very good. The way you lean on the ball is great. And the step after is great too. Oh yeah. 
Last two. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bah, bah, super. Bravo. No, but you did great, huh? You, when you, when you, when your hand goes where you want to hit, pff, control is fantastic. The ball is so fast, so low, without trying to play fast, which is good. Yeah. You don't rush with the hand. You just shoo, this little acceleration here. Cha, cha. Super. <laughs> I want you to be as comfortable with the drop shot on the forehand, so we'll do a few more. Yeah. 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 Because I know you get stuff also doing the back end that you can bring to the forehand side. Yeah. For me, it's easy to do it in the back end, like with the back spin. Forehand, when I do it, it's a bit too high, I think. And then if I don't do it, it just goes a bit flat. I need to find the mix. Mm -hmm. What is important is that you don't judge yourself, like especially if some are too high, yeah. but you have a good spin in it. Instead of thinking, no, it's not good, it's too high, think, oh, I had the right spin, now let's put it a bit lower. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. With the backhand, it's very natural because we all know how to hit a slice backhand, yeah. more or less, but we all know, so it's more natural to cut the ball, yeah. which is not something you do very often with the forehand, that's the thing. I give you one ball, and you play with yourself with one ball, with backspin, like this, up. Your turn. <laughs> yeah. With the right uh, grip, of course. The grip you're going to use for... Uh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Ex that's exactly it. You see how the... Ooh! I saw the racket go and the ball stay here and then go in front. The ball was doing this. So do it again and I want you to feel that. Yes. Go with your body, yes, exactly. You, I know you felt it. Yes! <laughs> so that was the first step. Now the second step is to do, we make sure that the ball, once, once it passes the net, it stops. Okay, that's the only thing we care about for the moment. Even if it's high, we don't care. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stop. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do drop shots. So of course you don't play that high. Yeah. You don't play with so much spin, but you do exactly what you did, but you just add a bit more yeah. of what we've done here. If it's too much at the start, it doesn't matter. You're gonna get it. Yes! A bit more backspin, go. Yeah. On this one, I know you don't feel that. You're driving it, that's why. What I would like you is to pass it with your legs. Pass it. Yes. One more. Very good. Yes. Down the line. The ball stops, stops. Yeah. Almost stops, perfect. Racket passes with the legs, 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 legs. Yes, 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 that's such a good one. Woof! Yes! Woo la la! Fantastic. Thank you, Olga. <laughs> great. Great job. Huh? Yeah, thanks. You're the master now. Yes. <laughs> you were already before, but yeah. one more degree. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. The more, uh, the more tools you have in your bag, you know, the more answers you have to any problem, you know. Oh, the guy is bringing all the balls back. Yeah, but he's in the, he's five meters behind. Let's, let's give him a few drop shots and we'll see if he's still that far back. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You know? A lot of players just play, but you know. And you're thinking a lot? I always get the plan. I mean, sometimes I try to not think too much because, you know, if you only think what, where I have to play to make him bad and not to make yourself good, Maybe you forget your own game. Yeah. So it's, it's a fine balance, I think. You're totally right, because this, this uh, sport, if you want to be a champion, and I know you want, yeah. and you're on your way, is to, uh, is to impose your game. So you're totally right. Yeah. Now the opponent is trying to propose you a problem, a different problem every day, and if he's in trouble, he's going to try to propose you another one. So you just have to figure out uh, how to deal with what, what's, yeah. what's the problem of the day. Yeah, exactly. yeah <laughs> but that's so true. Even now on this level, they, they all find solutions. Like, they don't tank at all. You know, it's not juniors or whatever. <laughs> so they keep fighting, they keep trying to find. So it's, you know, it's a big challenge. But, you know, I get better every day, so that's good. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. I mean, I, the ranking shows, first of all. Yeah. And second, uh, yeah, I, I see your videos very often and I see such an improvement. Yeah. yeah so really, congrats. Thanks. Amazing. <laughs> Now we have the masterclass of drop shots.
Thank you, Olga. Perfect. Thank you, man. What's next? Practice now? Because this was this was joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I find it. <laughs>